leaders and the who stewardship is the Ninahini bauxite have indicated they have been dealing with extant cubic since 2005 and have given their blessings to the company. The three chiefs, Nana Kusia Mankwa Ma for the second, uh, Inkaria Penyi, Penny Hene and Nana Tebri Jansa, the third, Mpasaso Mahene and Ninahini Hene, Nana Ampene Chumwating, three of them are not happy with the posture of the youth and district chief executive of the mining company. Well, according to them, they were aware on the movement of the equipment for prospecting. The chiefs have been speaking at a press conference this morning. Let me say, Nikwa Kwa, I said, DC, a regional minister, say, and yes, I did. I won't find you in the assembly hall. Yes, the Kusi assembly hall. Police commander, Elbow Mobile, and Debbie are the Ebertin. Police, if we don't want to know, and you are near me. And see, your tennis, my tennis, and a harm if we say, see, can you in a box site as someone? Yes, you know, he is having prayer, yes, and you fit in a bond to me, and you command your hand in the idea. Yes, and he said, as someone singing a hini. We, the chiefs, are custodians of the Yinahini lands on behalf of the Asantehini. But the DC failed to consult us, the chiefs, thereby disregarding our office. I requested for a meeting with the DC. But he declined. Exton Cubic Limited has been operating openly since 2005. To date, they have consistently engaged with us chiefs of the area about the operations, and in return, we have informed the Asantehini about their operations. So this is very disturbing. The comments we are hearing on radio are worrying, because government gave them this concession. But it is important to note that they were not given the whole Yinehini bauxite concession. They only had 58% of the concession. The remaining 42% has not been given to any company. It is therefore not true for anyone to say that the whole Yinahini bauxite concession has been given to Exton Cubic Company Limited. Fifty eight per cent, Love FM's Prince Apia has been following this story. He joins me on the line with more. Uh, Prince. Prince, last week you interviewed the, the youth who were on demonstration about this same matter. Today you're talking, you're, I mean, you've been hearing from the chiefs of the same town who are uh, condemning the youth, sort of. What has the response been like? Yeah, so uh, this, if you remember any la last week, it was the reference of in a hini right. who were protesting here. Yeah. But today it was um, the residents and the youth of in Korea who by tradition they also own part of the um, in a hini bauxite concession. Mm. So for them they want the acting to be something and then uh, um, Prince, if you can reposition if you can reposition and perhaps be stable, I don't know, it appears you're on, on the move, are you? Cannot fetch you enough money to uh, mm. uh, uh, take care of your of your of your livelihood. So okay. For them, they need they need. Prince, can you say what you said again? Because we lost you briefly. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Please say what you said again. Uh, what I'm saying is that for the youth, they want to be um, extinct cubic, uh, extinct cubic company limited should come and start operations because the only job available for um, residents and the youth is carrying teams and for them there's no job that can fetch them enough money to take care of their livelihood so they need jobs and if such a company will come and they are going to get jobs then they want it to come but they don't understand the buhaha that is going on so for the youth and residents of Encaria they are supporting their chief 
for President to intervene in this particular uh, to end it and ensure that operations begin, they get their license so that they also get jobs. But, but what has the chief executive said? Because he's one of the people who, you know, are, are, are not happy about the, uh, the, 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 the work, the, the work of Exton Cubic. Yeah, exactly. Um, the, the chief executive, um, uh, surprisingly, has declined to speak on this issue. And um, for some time, even today, we went and we tried to talk to him. Mm -hmm. He refused and declined to talk about the whole issue. What he said is that he wants the original minister to respond to any issue before he can talk about it. So he has been out of all this controversy since it started. Mm -hmm. So he was implicated in the beginning, but he has declined to talk about it. The, the, the exit cubic, do they still have their equipment uh, on, on the ground? Um, yes. Uh, you remember earlier, it was at Inehini. Right. And then because the, uh, the use of Inehini threatened that it, it couldn't guarantee the safety of the yeah. equipment, uh, it was taken to the uh, Nkoko in Carrier Police Station. Yeah. Now, what has happened is that, according to the chief, it was an order by the regional minister, and it has been taken from the court premises to the district assembly premises. So, as I speak to you now, the government are there. I but see. it hasn't been released to extend a cubic confidence. Did the chiefs today, when they held that press conference, had the backing, the complete backing, so to speak, of the people who agitated against the prospecting of extend cubic? The chiefs are not happy about that. What they say is that they have been dealing with um, extinct cubic since 2005. And in 2013, they renewed that conversation. 2015, they continued. And after that time, the DC, who by then was an executive member of the assembly, was part of the conversation. So he knew that there, there had been this um, interaction between the traditional authorities and mm -hmm. Exton Cubic Company Limited. So okay. they are surprised that the DCs have actually turned around acting in this manner. I see. Inciting the use of Nene, for instance. Okay. So for, for, for them, they are not happy about the, the turn up of the whole incident, but they know, and they said that even on Sunday when the youth, um, so to say, block the um, uh, equipment and seize the equipment. They had had an interaction with the um, or with managers of Exton Cubic who mm. had told them that they were going on site to put their equipment there to prepare their place until they get right. the mining license. Then they start to print. So they knew about this. Okay. And they have in mind to hold um, a stakeholder meeting to engage the youth before they start mining officially right. and Prince. commercially. What is the mood? Finally, what was the mood uh, in the town today? Was there was it sort of um, was there some kind of tension between you know the traditional leaders and the people of sort? What was the mood generally? Yeah, in uh, in, in it was crowded with black and red, both the youth and the traditional authorities. Mm. They all crowded in that sala, and the youth were charged. And even uh, during the time, um, immediately after the chief ended his speech, he started chanting, we need jobs, we need jobs, we need jobs. There was a charge atmosphere, and uh, that was what happened there. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Prince. Prince Apia. Uh, with love our sister station love fm for that report and he's been to nunahini bringing us happenings there they need jobs that's what the youth are saying and, and in that case they want extend cubic to do their work there <laughs>